Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, so we're gonna go ahead and take our boy Demon Jr., Mud Jr., Piccolo Jr. into the Metal Cooler core fight. Now, using both Piccolo Jr. and Goku um, in some events so far, I feel like I am leaning towards liking Piccolo Jr. better, actually. I, I just feel like there's so many, so much utility you could do with this guy between his active skill and his giant transformation and stuff like that, that he, he's just a very unique character. Um, let's jump in. Let's see how we're going to do. Now, I'm going to rock him on Goku's team. There's a nice little setup we could do here um, with uh, LR Metal Cooler and uh, Piccolo, um, which could allow us to get uh, the, you know, the, the Goku's uh, leader skills activated as well. Um, these rotations are really bad, but... I, I, I feel like we can make do with this. We'll, 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 we'll be able to do this. Alright. Piccolo Jr. Now, oh my god, are you serious? Well... Thank you, Dokkan. That's a that's a nice little opening rotation they gave us. Um, now Jackie Chun, I believe I do have a full dodge build on my uh, LR Jackie Chun. Um, I do, but he does want to get hit as well. Uh, but we do want Piccolo in slot two to get the additional super. That's probably a little bit more important than Jackie Chun. I think we could just go ahead and do this. Uh, Jackie Chun does want that 18 p super though. Jackie Chun should be okay. Uh, now Piccolo. We're going to have a couple of links activated thanks to Jackie Chun, right? We got Fierce Battle, we have Incredible Adventure, and Guide into the Dragon Balls. Remember that LR Jackie Chun? I, I'm going to do um, like an actual like 200% video on him because he's I have him rainbowed now after the most recent World Tournament. And he works great because remember, he's a 50% support to Piccolo Jr. and Goku, right? So that's going to help us out a lot. Um, I'm just trying to find this, maybe? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. And then, look at that. <laughs> easy peasy. Alright, so we're going to have to float Metal Cooler after this, um, which will be good. So by the time we get to the core, we'll have Metal Cooler and Piccolo Jr. together, um, which is, means they're going to have big bad bosses and stuff like that. Yeah, Jackie Chun has to get hit three times, and he, he does build up. Alright, he gave us a couple of dodges. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so Piccolo. Piccolo might get supered here. Piccolo should be fine. Uh, hopefully he gives us at least two or three supers. I've been having pretty bad luck with Piccolo. I have a full offensive build on him, though. Uh, remember, he needs to do five supers to fully build up. Um, we saw what his start of turn defense was. Remember, he gets 100% on super attack in slot two or three. There's him. Potential system additional. One more. Yeah, damn, dude. I just have terrible luck. Uh, damn. I just... I just don't have the ability to unlock Piccolo Jr.'s full power. That, that boy can go so crazy with the super attacks, man. And it makes such a difference. Uh, but it's just like... Because the, the way Piccolo Jr. is structured, right? It's like he has a 50% chance to additional super. A 30% chance to additional super. Another 50% chance to additional super, right? Like he doesn't have like... Oh, normal with a 50% chance to be a super. It's either a super or nothing. And I just have been having, um, routinely, I'm having just, like, dreadful luck with it. Uh, which is very unfortunate. Okay, th they're getting a lot of attacks in early. This is very good. Um, this means if we get their Spirit Bomb off, uh, they'll be very strong. And when they return, they've supered a bunch of times, so their damage reduction is built up as well. This is the first super attack that's going to do nothing to them. Uh, they got a lot of super attacks in, so they are completely A-OK. -okay. Alright, so Goku's not really the focus here um, of the video. We're just going to kind of like maneuver Goku however we see fit. Uh, I would... Yeah, dude, this sucks. This is why... Uh, Goku being our 10,000th character that needs to get hit is just very... Uh, a drag, I would say. Right? Because it's like... The reason I hate characters that have to get hit, right? A lot of people will think it's, you know, because I like to give characters full dodge, which I definitely do, which can certainly make, you know, receiving some of these hits a little bit harder because I like to give my characters dodge. I'd rather my characters not get hit than get hit. But the the main issue I have with these 
hit requirements is because you don't control where the enemy is attacking, where the enemy is supering. It, it just... I mean, I, if they keep giving us these characters that need to be hit, it does lead to more, like, you know, thinking and strategy and stuff like that in the events, I suppose. Um, but it, it just, you know, you can't rely on these characters to just easily be able to get hit. Now, Goku is guarding guaranteed the first turn, so he could, you know, get a couple of free builds there. But, like, you know, it, it's a coin flip every turn after Goku's first turn on if he's actually going to be getting... Um, the whatchamacallit or not, and if he's actually going to be getting the guard, so it's not something you could super rely upon. Alright, um, we could do this. I, usually you don't want Piccolo Jr. in, in slot 1. That, that's not the way you're going to want to use him in a lot of these really tough fights, but situations can present themselves where it does work out rather well. Right, now Piccolo Jr., he's going to get hit in slot 1 right here and get, um, 60% attack and defense, but don't forget right here, the Metal Cooler Army can be attack debuffed. We already attack debuffed them a little bit. Now Piccolo in slot 1, by being in slot 1, he applies a 30% debuff to the enemy. So even if the core would super here, I, I just feel like he's doing almost no damage. Even Yajirobe at the end here is not going to die. Um, so we have the same two links with Piccolo Jr. up right there. Next turn will be really strong for Piccolo Jr. with LR Metal Cooler, LR Jackie Chun, and then Piccolo Jr. himself. We'll have, uh, like, uh, nearly as good of a rotation as we possibly can have. Um, so he needs to do three supers to fully build up. We'll see what our luck looks like. Okay. So he still needs to do one more, right? And he's fully built up after this. Um, I, I, mine, I believe my Piccolo is 22 additional, so chances are good that we can do one more. Perfect. Okay, so he's now fully built up. Awesome. This is good. So we're fully built up going into the core, which is about uh, what we can hope for, right? Look at the damage. He does a lot of damage. Yeah, very impressive. Hopefully no super, no super, no super. Good. Because I just don't want the debuff on Piccolo Jr. when we get to the core. Now, I, I think it, it depends, right, on various factors. I do think Piccolo Jr. probably could get to a point where he can tank the Metal Cooler core just with raw defense. I do even type disadvantage. I do think he could probably get there, but it, 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 there's numerous factors, right? Like, um, is the intro buff up? Jackie Chun should be okay here. Yeah, uh, there's numerous factors, right? Like, is Piccolo's intro buff up? Did he do his full supers? Were you able to do his active skill to where he could, you know, get the, his defensive buff in slot one and slot two? You know, a bunch of different things like that would would really matter. Uh, a bit scary here. Yeah, this is a bit uh, spooky, scary. Th th this 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 is the type of rotation that's just like I like this Goku, but this does. It's like because it's like okay, let's take a look at this. 570 and 365 down there, but I mean, it, Goku, my Goku does still need to build up a bit. I mean, he needs to take some hits still. But, like, it's, I just don't know. Like, if the core supers right away and Goku's not guarding, we just instantly lose, right? Like, it's it, it, it's it's annoying. That, that, that it, it's, I, I do feel like he's balanced well. I, that's that's about all I could say with that, is like, I feel like they, they did a good job with this Goku. Because after, yeah. Uh, who knows? Let's see if my Goku and... I mean, I guess my Goku certainly could have dodged, right? Um, I I chose to do that because I could definitely get away with it. Um, I knew that this unit would, would live a Metal Cooler Core super easily. So we could put them in slot one. Uh, they'll be able to do their revive next turn if LR Metal Cooler does not die. So he's supered right at the start, huh? That's bad. Him supering immediately... I don't, I, I, means I can't really accurately predict, I think, where he's going to super next turn. I think the Metal Cooler, he could super in any slot next turn. So I'm probably just going to rock LR Metal Cooler slot one, Piccolo Jr. slot two, and then Jackie Chun in slot three, because that will give us the best performance from Piccolo. I, our HP is not low enough. I, I mean, unless we're not guarding here, which, oh my god, the piece of shit wasn't guarding. Okay, yeah, we, we would have been dead. That, like, that that matters, man. Like, that's not, like, a skill issue or you don't know what you're doing or you're using the character wrong. It's a coin flip, right? If we had put Goku in slot one, we lost. That, you know, it, it's it, it's a, it's definitely a negative factor for him. Like, there's no doubt about it. But him getting hit and that... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, 
I mean, we're fine. We're completely a okay because because we have the better character, Piccolo Jr. Here, man. We're, he'll save us. Don't worry. Jesus Christ, Goku. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now again, we're fine because I mean, there, there's we have a but we have a bunch. Uh, I've got a bunch of tricks up my sleeve that we're gonna rock here, right? Because Piccolo Jr. falling. What are his HP um, conditions again? Let me just pull this up. But we're going to be able to go from his giant mode. Um, we do two turns guaranteed. Then there's a 50% chance he'll do a third turn. And then we're going to do these followed up by his active skill. Um, now, remember, because of Piccolo's busted giant form, and this giant form is one of the reasons I would say I do like Piccolo better, by the way, um, is because I, now that we did this giant form, the Metal Cooler Core, he, he can't super us, right? Like, once we're, we leave giant form, he's... Metal Cooler Core cannot super us, right? So Piccolo completely is carrying us right here. Um, and then we're going to be able to use his active skill, which is going to attack break Metal Cooler. But then it's also going to allow us to activate Piccolo's full passive, right? To where we could get his abilities from slot two and we could put him in slot one. And Piccolo Jr. is so busted that even against the Metal Cooler Core... He's going to be able to go into slot one because we know that the dude is not going to be able to super attack. Like, I I, I get, I, I feel like, the, remember I, leading up to these characters release, I was saying this. People are going to say like, oh, Goku's the best unit in the game. Then the next person is going to say Goku sucks. Next person is going to say Goku's okay. And they're all correct, right? Because And same with Piccolo Jr. Because these units are, I, I mean, pretty complex. I would say well-designed, have a lot of moving pieces. So the performance you're going to get from these characters are pretty different every single time, right? But I, I just think that some of the these oh we got the yeah. some of the utility that Piccolo has, man. I just like a, a lot. Everyone sucks Orange Piccolo's cock all day long, right? Why is why 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 do people do that? Does anyone know? It's because he's freaking busted, and because of his Orange Piccolo transformation. This is not as good as the Orange Piccolo transformation, but it's fine, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess... Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Orange Piccolo is definitely stronger. He, he's doing more damage, right? And the thing about Orange Piccolo that makes it better, too, is you can control it. Because it's an active skill. Whereas this is kind of, you know, out of our hands. We have to be... What is it? Below 60% HP starting from the fourth turn. I do like that it's a guaranteed transformation. Remember, back in the day, a lot of those great apes were just percent chances, which sucked balls. At least this. Like, you'll, you'll be able to see when you're going for it. Maybe you could aim for it. But Orange Piccolo, you truly can decide when you're going to get it, right? Now, okay, so we leave this, and then now we'll be able to pop the Bastard with our active skill, right? Yeah. And then Piccolo, like, oh my god. Yeah, Piccolo, dude, Piccolo is a ridiculous character. Damage was not bad. That was not bad at all, right there. Okay. Um. Yeah, we won. Do Piccolo Jr. just completely <laughs> stupid character? All right. Um. Uh. So. <laughs> yeah. Right here. One point two four million. Now that, of course, is because we have almost all of his links activated, except for Tough as Nails and Giant. Um. We're gonna lose. Got into the Dragon Ball Z Incredible Adventure to get him in slot one, but. Piccolo gets 60% attack and defense being attacked in slot one. Because of Piccolo's transfer... The first attack Metal Cooler is doing is going to get broken by his active skill. But then after that, um, we know he can't super. The core cannot super us here. He can't do it. So, because, because of the giant transformation. Right? Like, so, like, we've established and seen why Piccolo is what he is, right? Then, oh, don't mind. So, we did the giant form. We did the active skill, and then he drops 23 million, and we could do one, two, three, four of these. He could do four of these. Yeah, like, I'm... Damn. You know, I've been calling... <laughs> you know, here's here's what's funny. Goku, after he revives, he's not the best unit in the game. 
Because the best unit in the game is Piccolo Jr. on this turn. When you get to a point in the fight where he goes from giant transformation into active skill into this, this is the peak of the game. There's there's no boss that could do anything to this. No, no, no boss can affect Piccolo Jr. when he does this. Because you go into your giant form, he kills every special technique the boss has. Right? Goku could be as great as he is, but, you know, Goku will, will hit himself as fine. But then Sin's AoEs from the hardest fight in the game are killing the rest of the team. But Piccolo Jr. goes giant, and then Sin, like, he can't AoE. He can't super. Metal Cooler Core can't super. Cell Max can't super. These bosses can't do anything after you go giant for him. And then you pop his active skill, and you're activating his full passive, right? It's just like the Blue Fusions. Piccolo then gets a 100% attack and defense when performing super, and the high chance of additional super, a second or third attacker in a turn. You have that active, and then you throw his ass in slot one, you get the 60% attack and defense in the first turn after receiving an attack. Uh, like, uh, I mean, Piccolo Jr. is like, he's, wow. Uh, he is very impressive. Uh, this is this is crazy. I, I, when you just look, Keep in mind, this is the best unit in the game for Super Battle Royale. This is the best unit in the game for World Tournament as well. This is very nuts, I think, how they designed this character. Uh, this guy is really stupid. The one L on him is his leader skill. Leader skill is the issue, right? Uh, I'm not a fan of, of what they did with his team. Because especially when I was fighting 8th Anniversary Sin, it's like I'm using the coolers, but they're not on the 200 Like, they're weak, the weaker versions because they're not on the 200% leader skill. Right? And it's like Piccolo wants to be either with Dragon Ball Saga characters or with cooler type villain characters. Because remember, Piccolo does not have the Namekian links. He doesn't have the normal Piccolo links. Right? Piccolo doesn't have Brainiacs. He doesn't have Namekians. He doesn't have Gaze of Respect. None of that stuff. Right? You're either pairing him with Dragon Ball Saga characters or you're pairing him with Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest villains. Right? So, um, interesting. Yeah, Piccolo. <sighs> pretty good he's pretty good